Own goals in football are galling. Own goals when presenting are no less exasperating. Our hands seem to become our enemies as we struggle with what do we do with them. Watch other presenters and see how they handle the hand issue. Held behind the back, thrust into pockets, folded protectively across the chest and squeezing the life out of the podium are some favourites of the lost. It doesn't have to be own goals all around. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to year five of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kani, Tokyo franchise owner, master trainer, president of Dale Kani, Tokyo Training, and three-time best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaigyo is the translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My latest book is Stop Wasting Money on Training. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are here to win in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 253, presenters lose the vice-like grip on the rostrum. So let's get going. Good posture never goes out of fashion. Standing up straight shows confidence, allows good breath control, and projects energy. Given this is pretty simple, then why is it we get this so wrong when presenting? The problem is temptations are plenty in the presenting environment. The various acting awards or music performance awards are broadcast all around the world to celebrate people making their living as professional presenters. Acting is presenting and so is singing, although we don't really often think of it and think of performances in that way, but fundamentally that is what these artists are doing. Now, this is one group you would expect to do this well. Yet, we see award recipients murdering their acceptance speeches. They stand there, shoulders curved, hunched over the stand microphone, bending low from the waist to accommodate the tech rather than the other way around. These are people who spend an inordinate amount of their time around microphone technology as users yet they seem incapable of mastering this sound dispersal device. We get a terrific view of the top of their heads, which, when we have a bald or balling paint on display, makes the whole experience even more memorable in a bad way. If you are ever in a position like that, where the height of the microphone stand makes the distance from the top of the microphone to your mouth seem too far, then change the scenario. Actually, hopefully, you will have arrived early and will have checked the equipment beforehand so we'll know if there is any microphone already mounted uh, will do the trick or not the way it is. You should have already alerted the organisers to your preferred tech arrangements and because it is going to be an extended presentation, you have requested a hand microphone or a Lavellia microphone. Let's presume you have not had that chance because it is an award ceremony and your remarks will be brief. Don't worry, because the solution is devastatingly simple. Remove the microphone from the stand holder completely and bring it closer to your mouth when you want to speak. If the microphone is wedged in there and is not relenting or responding to your efforts to remove it, then go for the more radical measure, pick the whole damn thing up, holers, bollers, and speak into the microphone so that you can be heard by everyone. Don't be bossed around by the tech. Show it who is boss around here. 
The other great good posture at Naya is the podium. I always recommend dispensing with the podium entirely if you can do that. These days we can have our slides there to help us navigate our way through the speech. The ubiquitous slide advanced clickers free us up from being trapped behind the podium and having to hit the arrow keys on the laptop to move through the slide deck. We can advance the slideshow from anywhere on the stage and thus be able to access our full body language to add our communication piece. Find out more, we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the leadership training for managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. What we often see though is a speaker, usually male, applying a vice-like grip to the outer edges of the podium in an effort to stop it escaping from the stage at any moment. Male speakers also love it because they don't know what to do with their hands. So choking the life out of the podium takes care of that problem and takes care of it completely. The double grip arrangement eliminates the possibility of using gestures to back up the words because the podium has now become a function of the speaker's balance. This is because the speaker is standing back from the podium and leaning forward, head down, shoulders hunched over the microphone attached to the low-flying microphone stand. When your weight is back like that, you tend to get stuck in that position and wind up delivering the whole speech with that poor posture. If for some sad reason you are using a podium as a notes bench or even worse, are using your laptop screen as your notes bench, then stand up straight, slightly back and away from the podium. From here, you can't easily grip the furniture and this frees you up to use your gestures. I make a point of only ever touching the podium with my fingertips to make sure I am not tempted to throttle the podium and to remind myself to stand up straight when I deliver my talk. Good posture shows the mark of the professional who is in control of their environment, the furniture and the tech. Gestures are there to amplify the points we're making and we don't want to lose that functionality. We need to get some basics and get such things right when presenting. Once we have managed that, all we have to do is concentrate on our audience. And that is why we are there in the first place, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends and colleagues, become a regular, hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now www.dale-carnegie.cojp. It's packed with value so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series and every second Thursday
for the business uh, Puro podcast. Show Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, every Monday we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday we release the Business Pro Television Show. And every Friday the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode 253, we are talking about don't pitch. So Yoroshiku Onagai Tashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.